Welcome back. This video is um, an introduction to another project that I'm starting in parallel um, with the uh, with one, one of the other projects that I have on the go at the moment, which is the tapered ball pin uh, turning and the modifications of the ball turning attachment. Um, so this project <coughs> um, is just a, a quick review of my uh, setup of my tool holders and uh, the, my next project which is to make a solid tool mount uh, to replace the compound slide and the reasons why I'm doing that with my machine. So first of all on a previous video um, I mentioned that this multi-fix clone um, tool post is a size AA, it's not, it's a size A um, and it's a little bit big for the MIFID. Um, it, it, it does fit and it works fine, um, but just as an observation, um, this is a 10 millimeter um, uh, turning tool here. It's an insert turning tool, obviously, um, and it's mounted in its holder and it's right towards the bottom of the travel of the vertical adjustment on the tool post. That's not a problem. Um, I do have some clearance underneath, so it, so it's not as low as it will go. It, it does have another one or two millimetres um, to go. Um, but I'm just highlighting that this is not the optimum tool holder for a MIFID. But it still works perfectly well. And I've, I've, I've put quite a few hours onto this machine now. Um, and it's working fine. I'm very happy with it. Um, it repeats nicely. Um, it's nice and smooth to use. It's it's it's, it's running. It, I, it's running um, a little bit better now. <clears throat> um, so I'm quite happy with it. Um, something I did need to do. I um, I wanted to have the option to put larger tooling in, um, and so I have a number of of three quarter inch uh, turning tools. Um, but of course, I've had to modify it slightly. Um, I had to mill a step into the tool to to drop um, the height of the tip so that so that I could reach centre height. Um, and it doesn't really, you know, it it doesn't immobilise the tool in any way. It's still perfectly fine as it is. But of course, it's reduced in thickness and it's not quite as stiff as it would have been if I hadn't reduced the thickness and to a degree it almost defeats the object of, of having a larger turning tool in the first place although it is wider um, but um, just just a point really of observation um, so like I said uh, this next project is going to be about uh, making uh, a solid um, riser piece to go from the top of the compound to the bottom of um, the multi-fix tool holder. So for the reasons that, reasons that I've mentioned I would like to go to larger tooling or have the option to go to larger tooling. Um, so for that reason I'm going to reduce the height of um, where the tool holder sits and also I'm going to reduce the height again so that the tool holder sits midway. Um, so I have to make a compromise between the thickness of the um, of the of the two sides of turning tools. Um, so I'll go for a middle ground between the two. So this is ten millimeter. That's three quarters. This one is three quarters. Um, so I'll go. I'll go for something in between. Um, the height from here to here currently is from memory I think it's about 36 millimeters something like that so I'll be going to about 28 to 30 millimeters something that I haven't decided yet um, so <clears throat> um, I follow this up with a sketch just to clarify what my intentions are but in, in outline um, the plan is to make um, I have some cast iron and I'm going to make a block uh, which is going to go from around here on the compound back to here. 
and then I'll be uh, fastening that down to some tea nuts which I'm going to make um, and they'll be fastened down with M8 um, cap heads. Um, the width of these tea slots um, it's uh, not about 9.76 millimeters something like that. Um, they're not perfectly flat there is a little step in there so I'm gonna need to try and get in there with a stone or a file just to take that edge away because um, <clears throat> to to limit uh, or, or to to um, solidly mount the block um, or the, the tool mount um, I'm going to make a full length T-nut to go into this T-slot here um, and that T-nut the tenon is going to project upwards from here and that will engage in a slot that I will mill into the cast iron solid tool mount. Um, I'll relieve it in the centre so it's only contacting it at the two ends and then at the front here um, I'll make a full length T-nut but it will there'll be no tenon protruding on this one. So that will give me solid alignment um, forwards and backwards it will give me solid alignment to prevent any rotation and then alignment along the z-axis of the lathe will just be um, frictional which clamped down with six m8 screws is, go is going to be completely fine okay um, <clears throat> so that's the plan um, and um, I'll just illustrate that with a little sketch and then I will take you to the first job which is to start milling the t-nut for that t-slot. Okay so we're at the drawing board I'm going to try to kind of sketch this whilst not kicking the tripod out of the way. Um, so let's see. Um, so the compound slide um, and I'm going to draw this freehand so please forgive the not very straight lines. Um, so the compact, the top of the, the sorry not the compact compound, the cross slide. Let's draw that. Um, and there's a, there's a hole here which locates the um, the tapered spigot for the uh, compound slide and then we have um, a t-nut here sorry t-slot there t-slot there um, and there's three t-slots here on this side and it's so the the solid tool post mount is going to encompass this area here so I'll just put that there with a dashed line and across here. Okay, um, so inside this T-slot is where I'm going to put my solid T-nut in there. So I'll just kind of do that. And in this one here, this is also going to have a solid T-nut, like that. So side view, uh, let's see, Ooh, that's not very straight, apologies. Um, so T-slot, T-slot and T-slot. Um, so, <clears throat> so this is a top face looking down onto there, and there's a T slot there as well. Okay, so this is the T slot that I'm going to make a precision uh, T nut for. So, as I mentioned over by the machine, the T nut will be have clearance here, here, and here, but here it's going to be a nice. Not too tight, but it's just going to be a nice transition fit into there, 
and that's going to protrude from there. Sorry about the awful sketch. Um, so that's going to protrude from there by about five millimeters. And then the block that goes over the top then will span there like that. And then that'll be drilled and tapped. That'll be M8. And there'll be a, um, a slot in the block which I will mill um, so that it's a precision fit as well. And I'll make sure that, that this tenon is a nice fit into there. Um, and I'll make it slightly deeper. I'll make it about half a millimetre deeper so that there's clearance on the end and I'll chamfer these corners so that they don't foul into the corners of um, this slot that I mill. And then there'll be, um, there'll be three, so I'll draw them as a counterbore. There'll be three clearance holes here. Oops, wrong place. There, there and there. So, okay, uh, so let me just draw them in there. Draw it over the counter ball. Okay, so there'll be six M8 screws holding this thing down. Um, its alignments will be constrained in that plane and it will also be constrained in this rotational axis. Um, longitudinally along the machine will be frictional. So, and that's positive, that's positive. And it will be positive that way as well. Um, and positive that way as well. So we've just got one degree of freedom, which is frictional and that's fine. I can live with that. Um, if I didn't want it to be frictional, yes, I could I could pin it to the cross slide, but I'm not going to. That's going to be adequate. Um, and then once I've got that all fitting nicely, then I'll put some relief angles into here. I'll just mill some, some relief onto it, just so it looks nice. And um, there's less pointy and sharp edges to catch myself on. So that's the plan. Um, so, th so the first step is to start machining this precision T-nut um, and then I'll make another one for here, which, um, as I mentioned by the machine, will not have a tenon which protrudes out here. Um, it'll sit under flush there like a normal T-nut would. Okay, so next step is to um, make some swarf on the mill. So I'll see you there.